All right, legends, welcome back to Mo Time and welcome back to another lawn renovation vid. So today, this one's gonna be on a cooch variety, as you have seen in my previous video. Um, we did a renovation on buffalo variety. So yeah, I thought I'd do both just because it is a common lawn uh, type that everyone sort of knows about or may have sort of thing. Um, so yeah, so today we're looking at Queensland Blue Cooch. There's actually some Sir Walter on this property um, up in the pool section and that's there uh, because it's very shaded. So the Queensland Blue just wouldn't have uh, done any good there in that much shade. So yeah, so, um, so yes, yeah, so the rest of the property, it has sort of multiple levels. Um, is Queensland blue and we'll look at the Sir Walter later. But anyway, if you didn't catch my Sir Walter renovation, make sure you uh, jump onto the channel or I'll leave the link up in the description up here or up here and you can uh, go and click that or just wait till the end of this video and go and check it out later. So um, yeah, so starting another renovation today, we're going to get in and do the scalping of the Queensland blue and um, and also scarifying. So as you would have seen, um, there's a little bit different process to renovating a cooch variety lawn as opposed to a buffalo. Um, so do make sure um, once you know what lawn variety you have at your place, you then make sure that you're following the correct procedures for renovating that lawn because um, you, you wouldn't renovate a cooch lawn the way you would renovate a buffalo lawn. They're very different type of variety of grasses where as you might have seen, in the buffalo lawn, um, they grow off stolons, which are, are, are the bits of grass you'll see that are growing on top of the lawn, as opposed to a cooch, which grows through rhizomes and they grow through um, through in the actually roots in the soil. Um, so yeah, very different. So, so anyway, stay tuned and let's get stuck into it.
All right, guys. So I'll just show you this bottom section. As you probably saw in the video, we've got a friend here just constantly sweeping me because I am obviously near his nest and he's not happy about it. But anyway, I've been here 20 minutes now or something. You think um, he'd be, no, that I'm not. Buddy, I'm not gonna hurt your babies, it's all right. Um, anyway, I thought I'd just show you this bottom section, which is the Queensland blue and the other sections as you'd have seen in the previous whipping. Yeah, not happy. Um, anyway, yes, yeah, so this is Queensland blue all the way through here and we're gonna scalp this down and um, <laughs> um, and then as you can see behind me here, this is quite thin all the way through this section and that's just due to a lot of shade through this section. So what we're gonna be doing here is overseeding this section. I've got some Queensland uh, blue pure seed uh, ready to go down here. So we'll just be trying to fill this in. So we're just gonna give it a go um, with seed and see how this next section goes over the next you know six months sort of thing and if we find that it's really struggling it's just too shaded in this area then we're going to um maybe look at like cutting the lawn off around this section and making that lawn and just making this join the rest of the beautiful garden that is around here so yeah so overseeding this place as well as the um scarifying, dethatching, and aerating. So yeah, that'll be tomorrow's job. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd just quickly show you too. Just remember guys, um, when you're doing your edges to uh, scarify, you gotta remember to scarify your edges as much as you're going to scarify your lawn with the mower. So make sure you cut them right down all the way around the edges. I do a like trim pass basically with the brush cutter um, and just cut it right down, just to get into those sections where your mower um, can't get into. So yeah, just make sure you go around with your brush cutter first and scalp those areas down that your mower won't get to. So yeah, all right, let's um, move on to mowing and scalping it down.
All right guys, so we finished the scalp on this lower section. So I'll just quickly show you the canvas here and how it looks now. Um, we'll just do a little bit of a close up as well so you can get a bit of an idea how low I've gone down with the Queensland blue. And we still have this bird still swooping me and still not happy that I'm here. Obviously hasn't adjusted that I'm not a threat to his babies. But anyway, so yeah, let's have a look at the canvas. As you can see here, yeah, looking a lot lower than what it was. We'll just get down a bit lower here and um, have a look here. So, um, yeah, so gone pretty low. Um, you can still see some thicker sections, which will always be because you're not got a dead flat lawn yet. Um, and that's the point of the top dress anyway, just try and level it out and get some new nutrients into the soil. So yeah, and then in the shaded section, um, in the shaded section, I didn't really scalp here too much because um, you don't want to do that because um, it, it's already struggling as it is. So if you scalped the, like, the little bit of grass that is in this section, you're sort of taking away, um, you know, uh, the little bit of grass there is there to try and thrive and help it to grow. So even though we're overseeding here, I still don't scalp too hard on this area um, here sort of thing. So yeah, so just be mindful of that if you are renovating a very shaded area, don't scalp it. I mean, cut it down, but don't scalp it too hard sort of thing, just to help it survive. Come on, buddy, give us a break. Um, trying to film here, can't you see? Um, yeah, so yeah, not scalp too hard. And you can see now um, that we've opened up the canvas, we've got a fair bit of thatch here, you can see. So plenty there, so we'll get the scarify into that, pull all this stuff out and let the, um, let the lawn breathe again. So yeah, all right, let's get stuck into scarifying. All right, guys, so we'll just talk about the scarifying really quickly before we get stuck into it. So I've got the big blue here today. She's gonna do the, uh, picking up the thatch for us. Um, so yeah, with scarifying, if again, you're new to scarifying, you haven't done it before, same thing as I spoke about with your mower um, in the Buffalo renovation. Start high and just work your way down with the height bar. If you're unsure, just click it down a notch, do a pass, have a look at it, see if you've pulled up a notch thatch. If you haven't, click it down another bar and do another pass and go from there. So it's simple as that. Just guide yourself into it, go easy, um, instead of just going full hog and dropping it to the lowest setting and you might end up doing more damage than good. So yeah, just uh, make sure you do that if you haven't used a scarifier before. Okay, let's keep going.
All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap up today's first um, couple of stages of this cooch renovation video. Um, I've gotta move on to another job this afternoon, um, a tree lopping job, so, um, so I've just got the scarifying done today and then it put the power rake through the cooch and pulled up all the, um, pulled up all the thatch and dead, dead uh, leaf that was in there. There wasn't a lot, thankfully, this lawn um, isn't that long a laid. Um, I don't know exactly, but it's not that old, this lawn, so you can sort of kind of tell that the landscaping wasn't done, um, you know, that long ago sort of thing. So, so there wasn't a lot of thatch, but there was um, enough to justify getting the rake and, and just putting it through and giving it a light comb over. Now, there are other options if you don't um, own a power rake, you know, just hire one from a local company, um, or there are sort of dethatch rakes you can buy from Bunnings, etc., for about 50 bucks or 40 bucks, I think. It's very small, and if you've got a big section, you'll be there for a couple of days probably doing it. It's only like 30 centimeters wide or something. I bought one just to have in case there were like little areas that you just need to dethatch that don't require obviously a machine. But um, but anyway, don't stress if you don't have one. Of course, you can always hire the equipment from your nearest hire place. Anyway, so yeah finish up today we'll be back tomorrow to core aerate fertilize and then top dress um, and then water it in now I do, forgot to mention earlier too if you are new to renovating your lawn and this is regardless of variety just make aware if you have irrigation in the ground as well so this place is fully irrigated um, has pop-ups throughout the outer edges of the lawn now I've been mowing this place and taking care of this clients property for a while now so I knew exactly where all the sprinklers were and um, and I just want to say too, if you're a contractor and you're doing renovations on someone else's property that's quite new to, etc., like that, that's why it's really important to um, do your edges first and scalp your edges down with your brush cutter as well, because that will expose any hidden uh, pop-ups in the ground that you might not have seen otherwise if you're mowing around. It isn't. I mean, you, you increase the risk of chopping the top off a pop-up if you just start with the mower and go around scalping the lawns and not starting with your brush cutter. So I just recommend going out with your brush cutter first and yeah, scalping with that. And then that way that'll show up any pop-ups in the lawn that you may not have missed otherwise and cause yourself heartache down the track when you mow over one and you've got to dig the whole thing up and replace the pop-up, which is a big waste of time and money. Um, so yeah, and it doesn't look very professional as well if you're damaging clients' properties when you should have just, you know, done your safety things first. The other options, uh, if you're really concerned, um, you can buy a little flag six or just get some um, marking spray paint and just put a spray paint mark where the heads are just so when you are going through with the scout machine um, or the power rake or if you're going through um, with the aerator, then you obviously know where all your pop-ups are and you won't run into that issue. So yeah, just another quick tip there. But yeah, gonna wrap it up today, guys. We'll continue to keep going um, tomorrow morning, um, like I said, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. I'm gonna go get this tree lopping John done and then call it a day and then yeah, back here tomorrow morning, get stuck into it and you guys can join me along with it. So yeah, see you tomorrow.